Hi, Aaron with ReportingGuru.com here again, and I'm continuing to show you how to build reports um, to work with BERT iHub. So in this video, um, we're going to build an actual data object, and the reason for this is so that we can build reports directly within our um, reporting portal. Um, so if we want to come in here and actually create a dashboard, uh, we need to have a data source within this um, reporting web-based reporting portal in order to uh, connect to and, and drag in columns and, and what, what have you. So let's go ahead and um, create a data object and then we'll upload that to the reporting portal. So we already have our um, project open and I have an existing sales report that we created in a different video um, and now I'm going to create a data object so file new and we say data object we choose the our project that we're working on and um, and basically this creates a data design file and we're gonna call this sales Um, and then so then we have uh, just like our report file we now need to create a data source and data sets um, and then a cube so um, for the data source you can see I kinda did a little trick there where I I copied the data source that was already in our sales report into our um, sales data design file um, so then that way I didn't have to recreate it um, but you know if if you need to recreate it then you can just watch the video that we um, did before that shows you how to create the data source to your um, database and this is a SQL database and then so um, we also wanted to create a, a sales data set so I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm just gonna copy that I'm going to paste that into my data set here. And so now we have a data source, a data set, and then um, we want to create um, a data model or a data cube. I'm just going to create a data cube. Um, um, and then I'm going to add, um, you can see I've chosen my, um, my cells data set. Uh, and so uh, I think I'm going to have just like territory um, so let's do territory here and then um, and then um, after you drill into territory um, Let's, you would see maybe the salesperson's last name. So I'm just kind of kind of group, you know, grouping that down, um, different um, levels of hierarchy. And so then um, for our measures, uh, I'm just gonna put in the sales last year, um, sales quota, uh, and then the cells year to date and then let's format these guys I'm gonna make this a uh, currency and then give it a dollar symbol make this currency give it a dollar symbol use a thousand separators um, and then let's make this currency and that's a dollar yeah same thing alright so um, there's our basic cube we're going to click OK um, and so that created a cells data cube. 